That's about it. I'm glad that brother put that out there because he started a whole bunch of... Dude. Okay, so what I did was... If we go back, I typed in politics on TikTok and I press search. And so I'm going to just see what's up. Okay. So this girl, guess which political party I'm in? Hard edition. Um, level confusing. It says Christian, so I'm going to go conservative. Let's see what she gets to at the back here and here. Fake blonde, fake tan. She's a conservative. Dream car is a Tesla. A pacifist. No, that's a liberal. <clears throat> She's thoroughly confused. Thoroughly confused. Okay. Do white lives matter? White lives? Um, uh, it's a bit of a tricky question. Um, no, not in the slightest. Yes, they tried to censor the truth. No, why not? Black lives matter. I really don't give a fuck about white lives. We're gonna. What? God damn. Get really political. I don't want to go there. All lives matter. It should. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> All lives Ugh, matter. These people I'm are glad stupid. that brother put that out there because he started a whole bunch of concert conversation. Man, you're hard to talk to. Really, why? Because you're making me think that all my answers are wrong. <laughs> no right or wrong answer, it's just your opinion. Is that minute almost up? Do white lives matter? Wow. So what's the worst thing about Democrats? That they're really judgmental to anyone who isn't a Democrat. They all think they can get along, but they do no effort to do so. How incompetent they are at campaigning and messaging. The fact that <laughs> foreign policy sometimes requires stepping on toes. And they're all hypocrites. Yes. So what's the worst thing about Democrats? That they're really... Wow. What is your response? I don't hear. Can you speak louder? <laughs> what is your response to Republicans who say you are only doing this SPR release because, to help Democrats in the midterms? Where have they been the last four months? That's my response. <laughs> what a deal, though. The person wants me to call them by their pronouns. In private, I'm happy to call them whatever they want. If they want me to call... Okay, yeah, he's covered this many times. I'm not watching this. Do the people in this security camera video look familiar? Let me run it back for you. It's an older couple looking tipsy with drinks in hand, struggling to walk up the staircase and wait for it. Wait for it. Ah! The video posted on Twitter <laughs> claims to show House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and her husband Paul after a late night out. Spoiler alert, <laughs> that's not what's happening here. So where did the clip come from? These are the sources we used for this fact check. Using a tool called InVid, we grabbed uh, frames from the video and then did a reverse image search, which led us to this 29... That's awesome. <laughs> In 2009 and 2018. Oh my God. If you don't know this bitch, this bitch is about one of the dumbest fucking bitches I've ever seen. How many school shootings did the United States have? 288. 288. Now let's look globally. Our G7 partners, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and the United Kingdom. Combined, how many school shootings did those countries have? Five. Five. times more. In 10, almost 10 years this is not normal she's right it's not normal and this is happening in the inner cities and this is happening because of these they do not want to attack the problem of having guns in the hands of young minority men now we have school shootings mass shootings that are happening but those 288 most of those are single shots couple of shootings most of them are in the black schools, in the poverty neighborhoods. That's where most of this is happening. The white kids are killing about 12 people at a time. But the black kids are shooting and shooting up more and more and more people every day. They don't want to stop and there's nothing that they're going to do about it. He wouldn't answer your question. Do you want to ban abortion completely? He never got to it. He talked about Jamaica. I don't want to ban abortion. I want to make sure we keep a woman's right to choose available. You cannot be a Christian and have a woman's right to choose. There is no such thing as a woman's right to choose to kill a child. ...to the women of the state of Florida. And I want to make sure that we don't have a governor in the future who wouldn't even allow exceptions for... Charlie Chris was an idiot. That's right. Ron DeSantis beat the snout out of him. ...rape or incest. We just found out recently about a case of a middle school girl near Jacksonville who was a victim of incest. 
became impregnated. Because of the bill you signed, Governor, she had to go two to three states in order to take care of this issue. Became impregnated, which means she was not raped. She made a choice and she went and got an abortion. She made a choice to have sex and get pregnant. That is no one's fault but her own. That's not compassionate leadership. That's not doing the right thing. That's not even having a heart. That's callous, it's barbaric, and it's wrong, and Florida deserves better. And if you- And you're full of shit. You've never had a drop of alcohol in your life, have you? That's right. No. I mean, I, I found that amazing when I- Whoa. Donald Trump has never had a drink of alcohol. Okay, so he's being interviewed by Piers Morgan, whom I love, liberal, but I love him. He has a lot of common sense. And he just asked Donald Trump, you have never had a drink. I, I discovered that fact. Well, for you. me, it was very easy. I mean, You've I never touched a drug? No, I've never had drugs. You've never smoked a cigarette? I've never had cigarettes. And you don't even drink coffee, do you? I, and I don't drink coffee. I mean, it's amazing. You've never had a drop of alcohol in your life. Wow, that is amazing. Hard to believe, but amazing. 